Um, once I called in and made the first man miss, I looked to the right, and it was all from there. Demetrius, you talked a lot about how last year it seemed like you just couldn't bring in, you, just, you were hitting a lot of balls down, and you couldn't seem to get the interceptions out of the field to get two of them. Uh, <laughs> you know, it, it was a good start, you know. It was a, you know, we did a whole lot of game plan during the week and, and learned there, like, their tendencies and whatnot, what they like to do. So, you know, I was just trying to capitalize on my opportunities. Demetrius, your school has a great reputation of producing some all American safety. You dream about maybe being the latest. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's always that's always a dream, but you know, I'm really I'm more focused on the team goals than the personal goal. Your thoughts on what Rich said about the defense? Because he wasn't all that happy about it. Uh, you know, we got we got some cleaning up to do. You know, we always there's never game, games aren't perfect. You know, it's the first game, so we got to be able to shake it off and uh, come in next week and respond. Brandon, what's your assessment of the offense's performance tonight? Uh, I think uh, our run game was really on point. Uh, they were trying to sit back and take away a lot of the throwing game. So uh, we still took a, tried to take a couple shots, but I mean, if they're sitting there take, trying to take that away, um, our run game was just um, it was just working. You know, why not? You know, take the take the easiest. You know, you're not going to try and force the ball downfield. Might as well just run right through it. And our offense put up really good numbers in the run game and. Um, put up big numbers, so that's really all what this offense is about is putting up numbers. Tony Ellison was your number one receiver tonight. What, how, in what ways has he progressed since you started working with him? Uh, Tony's, Tony's just been a workhorse. Uh, he's always, you know, one of those guys that's always want to get extra and always wanted to, you know, um, take it serious. So um, I feed off of that in the off season, you know, spring ball and fall camp. Um, he was just, you know, one of those guys that was always, you know, working. So. Uh, just getting that timing down, and I've been with them for a few years now, so kind of just on the same page now, and just got to make sure I keep that ball rolling. Hey, Tony, how did it feel to break through, get a touchdown, get some catches tonight? Um, I think that's just a reflection of all of our hard work in the summer, you know, playing like Paxi with the chip on our shoulder, and it feels really good to execute the game plan. So, feels good. <clears throat> a couple more questions for these guys. So, the passing game overall, um, you guys were under 100 yards. Where do you think you can make some strides heading into week two in that, in that area? Uh, I'm not really worried about it, you know. I mean, it just depends on how a team plays us. We're, we're a team that's built on having, you know, a triple option attack. You know, we can throw the ball, we can run the ball with our running backs, or I can run the ball. So, um, whatever a team does, we just got to make sure we don't let them be right, and that's when our offense is most effective. Uh, if they're going to sit back and take away the pass game, I don't care if I hand it off to JJ and Nick for 600 yards. If they're putting up big numbers and putting points on the board, that's uh, that's good in my book. So I'm not worried too much about making sure all the numbers are big all over. Obviously, I want all the guys to get you know get theirs and everything. But um, my main goal is to put points on the board and put wins in the uh, you know in the W column. Were you frustrated at all when you had a couple of touchdown runs called back because of penalties? <laughs> Uh, Frustrated is a word. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's just, it's, it's, there's a lot of meaning with that. Uh, I wouldn't say frustrated. You know, um, I just say there's a little minor minor tweaks that we need to um, get handled, and you know, make sure we don't get those called back in a more you know close, crucial game. Uh, I'd rather get those mistakes out now than next week. So um, it just gives us more to build on. And uh, missed a touchdown to Sean Poindexter on one of them. I uh, wish I could have got that one back, but. Um, just got to build and, you know, fix these little minor mistakes and, you know, get rolling into this Houston week. Brandon, how do you think the line played a role in that? I think they did great. Um, I don't know the stats. I don't have a stat line or anything, but uh, we put up really big numbers in the run game and uh, even pass protection and everything. I, don't, I mean, they're a, lot, they're a big cover zero team, so they're bringing, they're bringing a lot of blitz, a lot of blitzers and stuff. So uh, more than more than the offensive line can handle, you know, they're bringing seven. We only have five or six blocking. So, um, they're getting a little pressure on cover zero looks, but for the most part, they're they're handling their own and doing really well. Brandon, what's it mean for you when you see a teammate like Rhett Rod, a third option at quarterback, getting in there and scoring his first touchdown? It's exciting, you know. I mean, you know, the QB, you know, the QB room is, you know, every room is like a family. You know, the wide receivers have a room, safeties, uh, everybody has their own room. You know, the QB room has just been a close, tight knit family um, all summer long since everybody's gotten there. So. Uh, it's, it's good to see everybody progress, and you know it's always fun to see some of the young guys get in and uh, you know get some action. You know, my first touchdown came versus NAU two years ago, so uh, you know just reliving the glory days a little bit. You know, it's always exciting to see somebody else, you know, in the QB room get out there and have success. Sean, what what kind of an impact can it have on a game when you when you score on special teams? How does that change? Things? 
Well, we, well, we want to um, have at least two big plays on uh, special teams and get the momentum going. Um, our coaches preach to us, if you win in special teams, more than likely you're going to win the game. So coming out, wanting to win every rep on special teams is great. Anything else? Demetrius, what, what frustrated you more, most about their passing attack? Um, you know, they they have some they have some pretty good receivers, so it's not like they're they're slouches. So I don't know why people come in thinking they're just because they're NAU they don't have some decent talent. So, you know, it was just some, some things some things we missed, like, you know, like like offense, you know, we got some we got some minor tweaks we need to fix. Some some high things, you know, and then we're gonna come in tomorrow and we're just gonna try, kinda tweak those things and get right. How did Demetrius, how do you think the young guys handled themselves out there tonight, the freshmen? I think they did. I think they did well. They did. They did way better than I did my freshman year. That's for sure. But I think Scotty came in and he contributed well. I think Troy, when he got his time to come in, I think he did. He did his thing as well. Okay.